So James, you and I are going to chat again. And I think that um, between the two of us as study coaches slash teachers slash people that are incredibly passionate and interested in the next generation of accountants, this is probably a conversation we're going to continue having for quite some time. Um, so I wanted to chat a little bit more about some warm and fuzzy stuff about students this time and, and your perspective of, of students and share that a little bit. So the, um, we, we spend a lot of time talking about our students. I think if, if someone heard us, we'd probably, they'd probably think we had like a million children because I think we, uh. <laughs> we spend a lot of time talking about them and how to help them and what's going wrong and the good, the bad, the ugly. And so why, why accounting students? I mean, you are an accountant, obviously, but why do you like working with accounting students? What is it that makes you keep coming back to them? I think, Yvonne, it's, it's back to years ago whenever I was an accounting student. So where it all started for me was I finished my uh, degree in accounting, and then I went to another university to do a master's in advanced accounting. And my previous university asked me back to tutor the first year accounting students. Okay. And I realized, hey, these guys have got exactly the same problems that I had three years ago. Yeah. And that's where it all started. And then whenever I went into Grant Thornton to work for them, rather than getting the job done, Yvonne, I enjoyed far more helping the junior. Yeah. So especially whenever I became uh, you know, an audit senior. I loved helping the junior members of staff in terms yeah. of going, okay, I don't know how to, how to audit the credit reconciliation. And then after 10 minutes, they knew how to do it because I, yeah. told her I helped yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. I got great job satisfaction out of that. And I think it all boils down to now, Yvonne, is that I've been there. You've been there. We know what yeah. the, yeah. especially we know what the emotional baggage yes. is like. We know and that it's, it's, a, it's a lot. Oh, massively. So it's more it's than just passing exams. It's the yeah. fact that you have to do a training contract or articles on top of that. You've got a lot yeah. of work pressure. You know, you've got to have a life as well. I'm trying to have that balancing act. Yeah. I've been there, done it, and I can appreciate yeah. exactly what, what, what all these guys are, are going through. So I think yeah. that's why I love working with accounting students. Plus, yeah. in the main, accounting students are very driven and they want to succeed. True. Yes. They are, I, I they absolutely agree with you. They, they are... I think we we fall into the trap a lot of times of saying you need to improve this as students, you need to improve this, improve this, improve this and change and work. But what's often unsaid is the fact that I find accounting students incredibly determined, yeah. very ambitious, very goal oriented. Uh, and they pick themselves back up. You know, they may not like it, but I've never come across a group of students that are more willing to write the exam again. <laughs> To enroll again and start again as many times as they're kicked they get back up again because they feel that the goal is worth pursuing one thing as well that with accounting students and i think it's a huge positive is that they're very aware of their weaknesses maybe too aware <laughs> maybe, too, maybe, maybe that is the logical <laughs> element pro yeah. processing those but yeah. at least whenever you're coaching and prompting or whatever they go i know i need to do a bit more work on that area yes. yeah so let's yeah, go yeah, away and, and work a bit more on my study timetable yeah. because I know I'm, I'm lazy occasionally yeah. and I procrastinate. So being yeah. aware, awareness is a hugely important a, trait. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's very seldom you find that they go, no, I'm, I'm fine. I don't have a yeah, problem. Very rare. Um, I'm good. Uh, and in, in cases, if, you know, I do find that that happens, but that's often because they've never really thought about it in that way. You know, no. so oh, no, I'm fine. And then we talk about it a little more and go, oh, you actually have a point. I, I do struggle with that. I never thought about it that way. Mm -hmm. But there, there is a lack of arrogance there and a willingness to learn. That's it's a huge yeah. trait. Um, yeah. And I suppose that's the, yeah, that's the key reason.